Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm here today with Festa. Oh. And we've got not one guys, but two amazing friend mails to share with you all. Been so 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 grateful, guys, to receive not one but but two friend mails. You guys are the best. We've got such a great little community going here. We love all our subscribers. You're all so great giving us comments down below. And yeah. And and some people we've 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 gone on to make friends with, and that's 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 today basically. Um, both Journey into the Realm and Justin here on the channel have been such loyal subscribers, all, always uh, chatting to us in the comments, and both of you are just absolutely the best. And Justin has been there since since day one, hasn't he? Yeah, always commenting. Always there, always supporting the channel when I was had almost no subscribers, only a handful of subscribers. And you know, that that gave us the the encouragement to keep going. So thank you, Justin, so much for that. It really means it means a lot to small channels. Um when people show interest, get involved in the comments. And yeah, thank you so so much. And then later, um, a little bit later in in doing the channel we came across journey into the realm through watching the rocking writers didn't we? we did. and we went over to her channel and found that we had so much in common we were both doing stuff from like the magpie market and coven and things like that and then we both became the hugest fans of enchant and soap and Journey suffers with a health just like I do. So we've we've been there chatting to each other. We've both had a rough year, haven't we? I mean, Sorry. it's 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 been crazy, but hopefully things are on the onwards and the upwards for both of us now. And also, this is gonna be the last video I'm filming before I'm going in for my op guys. So quite nervous at this point. Wish me luck. But anyway, on with the unboxing. So this first lovely yellow box, which the little one is gonna use as her jewelry box, isn't she as well? Because she loves it. She is with Alice on it. It's actually from the Alice in Wonderland Enchant and Soap uh, themed monthly box from last year now we didn't get that one did we we got the one before it i believe and the one after it we got That's yeah we got yeah, yeah we got the zombie teddy bear and then i think it was alice and then it was the gothic family which we got so yeah we missed the alice yeah we missed the alice one so we never got this box but i have heard that falling into wonderland is an amazing whip soap few of you have been telling me that so i do need to try that so journey sent me this lovely box with a very cute sticker on it and yeah no idea what's in here so thank you so so much do go check her channel out i'll link both journey and justin down below give them both a subscribe it means it means the world to a small youtubers all right guys let's get on with it because i'm super excited i've been good i've not peaked i'm a little bit delayed in getting these friend mails uh out to you guys a uh, little bit of a mix up with this one um <laughs> long story but it's here eventually so yeah let's get in oh i see ghosties on top now i'm gonna pass this over to fest do you know what actually i'm gonna pull this out because a little while ago myself and journey were chatting and this print it's not really her style because of the pink it's a gothic surfer rama gothic surfer rama is is what we immediately we were watching Dra uh, dragula if any of you watch dragula and we had that gothic surfer rama song in our heads and when we saw that this was in a coven box we we're like oh i want that <laughs> Uh, well, I, we commented and said, oh, that's such a nice one. I was, And then when I got um, a past mystery box from Coven, I was like, fingers crossed that I'd get it. But I didn't. And this is just so cool for my office because I've got a pink sort of um, pastel gothy looking office. And I also am a huge fan of Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein. So this print is just me. And it, it's awesome. It's I'm going to frame this and put it up on the wall in the office because I just think it will be super cute in there. And I love the turquoise on it as well. 
and the bluey lilac and this is actually from guys rotten flamingos i already have a print from rotten flamingos in my office and it's like a pink girly ghost face one so i'm already a fan of this brand and yeah they're super cool um if you love pastel goth and horror, check out Rotten Flamingos. I will actually link them down below as well. And they've got some really cool Terrifier prints too. I don't know if I've showed those to you. I don't know. But I'll have to. They're like, it's pastel. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, he's having, he's having a look eagerly over there. That is so cool. So, yeah, when I was saying how much I liked it, she, she did say to me, oh, I'll send that to you. So I knew I was getting this. So, yay. I love it. It's so me. Really, I'm obsessed with uh, Bride of Frankenstein in particular. I do have a Bride of Frankenstein t-shirt as well, which I don't know what I've done with it. We do, don't seem to be able to to find that t-shirt, do we? My Bride of Frankenstein one. Oh, no, it's hiding. I'm really, really annoyed about that. It, it's somewhere. But yeah, I've got a beautiful print here to frame. And let's see what the ghosty was. Oh, sweet. It's a little bag. This, I think, would be a really nice size to just put all the, like... I'm using up all my minis, aren't I, and samples and stuff at the moment. And I could put all my, like, little beauty samples Jigglypuff. and minis... Sorry, Jigglypuff. <laughs> <laughs> Spotted a Jigglypuff in here. And it says boo on it. It's very yours. It's very cute. I love ghosts. Yeah, I've never actually seen this one before, so you have to let me know where you got this one from because I really like it. I think the little one will really like it too. And yeah, it's black on the back. But yeah, I think I'll be using it, to be honest, because I really like it. But we'll see. I say that sometimes and then no way. No way, no way. Literally, I'm just talking about how little one wants some of some of my things, and you know, she ends up with them sometimes. Sometimes, mummy just hands them over. But anyway, literally, this ghost necklace. I got this one in a box of goth. Um, the little one's got a little ghosty necklace, a little white one, and I've got one that she got at Halloween. But when I got this, and I was wearing it with um little pink dress I got a team who wasn't it mm -hmm. and she was like but mommy I want a pink ghost I want a pink ghost and I'm like I don't know where to get it from <laughs> because I'd got it in a past like clearance box in bo box of goth so I didn't know where the item came from originally I couldn't seem to see it anywhere so yeah she was she was wanting a pink ghost too so we know where this is going <laughs> thank you so much journey that that's cool um we can be little ghosty twins now because she does like spooky things but she does tend to like bright colors as well doesn't she mm -hmm. so a pink ghost awesome we're now ghosty twins that's cool oh the ghost theme oh another ghost ghosty box We've got, oh, do you know what? Festa got a new pad, didn't you, for um, it was your birthday, wasn't it? Yeah. We never ended up sharing um, some things at, at one point, guys. It was just too chaotic, wasn't it, to show mm -hmm. everything that was coming in. But, yeah, this is a really cool little pop socket. And we think, we know now, I'm just going just gonna to hand this one over to Festa. That's one for you. Attach this right then. There you go. He's loving that. Thank you, Jenny. Yeah. Oh, what was it you said this is? Jigglypuff. A Jigglypuff. I know nothing about Pokemon, but and is it is it Pokemon? Let me see. Just from here, let me see if I can guess what that is. The one underneath. Yeah, it. I'm not sure. Go on, give it an open. Let's have a see. And you know Jigglypuff because uh, it's first generation. I think that might be the dot one. Yeah, I don't, want to know. I, don't, I don't know that one's now. No, I don't know either, but, but Jigglypuff's these, badass. These, don't mess with Jigglypuff. <laughs> they're going to go really sweet on the little one's drawers, aren't they? Because mm -hmm. she's got quite a lot of like cutesy and gamer and some 
some slightly spooky things in there. She has she has started to say, Mommy, I want a scary room now. And I'm like, Yeah, not really sure what to say to that because I probably was I would I had pictures of Beetlejuice and stuff on my wall when I was like five. I was quite a peculiar child. But anyway, um <laughs> I mean Beetlejuice is still one of my favourite things. I, I'm getting excited now for Beetlejuice too. I've actually started getting quite excited. It's on its way, guys. Give me a like, a comment down below. Are you excited? Are you nervous that it's not going to live up to the other one? I mean, I was like that for a while, but then I started thinking, no, like, I'm actually really excited for this. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll have to obviously um, watch it first before seeing what certificate it is and whatnot. See, I don't well, know I if the little one... Without watching it. I don't know if the little one's going to be able to watch it, but we'll, we'll see. She will love those for her drawers. And then, no way. Another one I got from Boxer Goth, but actually, Journey, I'm so happy to have another pair. I snagged one of these socks on something and just, and I'm not usually a, the destroyer of socks. Festa is the destroyer of socks. Oh, that's, that's his job. But I socks tend to last me, but this was the one time. Where I literally, I was all, I was wearing again wearing about with. That time you thought you had a good set. Yeah, and I had about six pairs, didn't I? It wasn't, it wasn't the same pair. But anyway, um, I literally tore the whole front of these and had to throw them away because it was like there was no way of fixing it. I'd literally just snagged it and pulled the whole thing. There's been work being done in the house and it just got caught on something. So I have a replacement. Oh, thank you so much. That's so thoughtful of you to send to send us these goodies. I've got a little something I need to send to you as well. So yeah, look, just a little something from us. Um, we've been so delayed getting things done, guys. It's crazy, but yeah, I will. I have a little something to send to you. But yeah, so so cute. Love those. And then we're both fans of Harry Potter. <laughs> Who's the one from the Harry Potter <laughs> Tom Liddle. Festa's always in Liddle. Paul DeMort. <laughs> These are fun. Tom Middle. Oh, Tom Piddle. Tom Fiddle. Griffin Oh, these are so sweet. The little one's going to love having some of these. She's going to laugh at that Tom Piddle. <laughs> oh, they're really cute. Thank you so much. Oh, and there's some stickers as well. Hufflepug. Ravenpaw. I've never seen these before. Gryffindor. Oh, they're cute. I'm going to rummaging in the box. Oh, that's nice. Spirit of Equinox, which is quite a nice goth brand. And it's a talking board. Twitty. Black magic key. It is. That's a nice quality keyring. And actually, I have quite a lot of Ouija board things. Like my main jewelry box looks like a Ouija board. <laughs> Freaked the mum and la mum and la out, didn't it? When I was like, it's just a jewelry box. But yeah. Um, I love them. So that is really cool. And yeah, it is weighty as well. It's a nice quality one. So thank you so much. And we've I got... I this is Pink Mushroom. Oh. Mushroom! Pink Mushroom, Pink Unicorn. <laughs> oh yeah, from the Pink Unicorn. We really like the Pink Unicorn. Might have found me a box and call it In Pink fact, Mushroom. In <laughs> fact, Vesta got me a little something that I've, I'm yet to share with you guys on here from the Pink Unicorn as well for birthday, didn't you? thing that's over on the floor over there over yonder yeah over yonder but yeah we love the pink unicorn we have done a few um unboxings on the pink unicorn from the pink unicorn on this channel and journey did too and i think she did a couple with taza Rinan, which is the other side of emma's business who also owns and runs the pink unicorn we like both of those businesses but pink unicorn I think was our favourite of the two because it just it's just fitted our style and aesthetic recently, hasn't it? And yeah. Well, yours. Yeah. <laughs> well mine, yeah. Rat with aspirations. 
Oh, that's cute. We've got some great stickers here for the little one. She gets very excited by stickers. Very excited. Do you remember when I had that big sticker pack and she sat for hours going through going, these ones are my best ones. These ones are not my best ones. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But also... Oh, that's cute. Oh, I might have to put that one on my beauty drawers. Funnily enough, this makes me think back to when I was a kid and we had projects to do um, in like, it must have been junior school, to be honest. And other kids were making fairly normal things, I guess. And me and a couple of other kids and I was like, right, let's get Medusa's head and then like let's paint the blood on it and let's do all this and we made this big thing and it was gory it was so gory and we were only about eight or nine but we actually worked hard on it and it was good even though it was a bit troubling so they couldn't really have a go they were sort of like you've worked hard but um there's a lot of blood on it so yeah that makes me think of that attention to detail yeah medusa, we did the only mortal gorgon she we got did. ripped off i love medusa so yeah that was our little project a little gory project <laughs> oh they were they were horrified <laughs> but also a bit impressed that we had took took our time on it but anyway yeah, that's really cool gonna be putting that one I on my beauty drawers you got your mythology right well Medusa was a particularly interesting one. I mean, it sticks in your mind, doesn't it? One of the only women that managed to turn Zeus down. <laughs> oh, that's a very cute bird skull keyring. Very nice. I'll pop this one on probably um, my pink coffin bag because I think that'll look cute, maybe attached to the zip on there. Kind of reminds me of a plague doctor. Yeah, I've got a and few things a with skull. I've got a few things with bird skulls on. I really mm -hmm. like them. Ghoul boss. Oh, a little pastel goth hearing ghoul boss. That is cute. Really, really like that. That's We've so got a choker from oh yeah from the pastel goth box. I've got one of these, but again, I'll see if the little one like a matching one because a lot of the time like you know it's like you get something and i want one and then they want the exact same thing as you so it'll be nice here to give her this one so thank you so much we've got oh actually i've got this pattern on um a postcard that i think i got from box of goth and that's like a nice little summer ghoul batch I'm going to pop that one on my bag. I've got a bag that's absolutely covered in pins and badges. I will have to share it at some point. There's some really cool ones on there. And I've also recently got a sandworm pin, which was really, really... Thanks again, Shadow. That's actually just gone on the bag. And, yeah, a few more Beetlejuice things have been added to the bag, which is very exciting. And, yeah, I'm going to add this one on there as well. So that's really cool. We've got something in a baggie. Pin. Oh, that's pretty. I wonder if that's from Witch Casket. I think you've got another pin that's quite similar in the embossing and yeah, I, design. I, I won a pin um, from Behind the Mask with these Darcy Darkness that it's quite similar to this from Witch Casket, so I feel like this one may be from Witch Casket because I feel like they're always gold on the back, whereas a lot of other pins are silver. So, yeah, it's very, very pretty. And Witch Casket are nice quality items, not something that I've ever unboxed on the channel, but I've had a couple of bits from it, and they're really, really nice. Another one for the bag. The bag is going to be... Um, I'm going to have probably about 50 pieces of fleur on it. If you know... <laughs> Too much flair. <laughs> Too much flair. You know, if you know, if, you, if I'll be you impressed. Know about you know about flair. <laughs> do you know? Do you know what what movie that that reference is from? If you if you comment down below, you're automatically cool because it's it's one of my favorite movies, and I do think about it every time I, I check out my pieces of flair. More flair to add. Thanks again, Journey. Ooh, oh, and we've got some incense. I've not actually, 
I've got like one packet of incense, which is snug shamper, isn't it, downstairs? And that's oh, the only way. incense I've, I've got in the house. So this is really nice. And I do actually have a little batty. I've tried burning sticks on him, but it, the the dust goes everywhere. It's made, for cones. it's made for cones. So now I can actually use my little batty from Boxer Goth and use these. They're from Stanford Ink Wizard Spell. Oh, they smell nice. Mm -hmm. So I'll look forward to giving those a go. Um, then we've got a Christmas card as well. Merry Gothmas. That's how behind we are. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it is. This is how behind on videos we are, guys. It's only the middle of February. And we're showing you a Christmas card. Thank you so much, Journey. I won't open the inside of that on here, but I will. Yeah. I just because I believe just, Christmas never I'm ends. not sure if you've put your real name in there. But thank you so, so much. Very, very grateful. And that's everything in the box, guys. That's all. But we have, we have more friend mail. Because as I mentioned earlier, we have some things from Justin. Like I say, the very first person to support us here on this channel and really give us that encouragement to keep going. And yeah, just he's just been a great support and a great friend throughout the last couple of years. And Justin thought to send us some goodies from all the way over the pond, all the way in the USA, which is incredibly thoughtful. And guys, we don't actually have the box. I attempted to unbox this yesterday and then the video corrupted. So we no longer have the box, but we do have the goodies that were inside. And the little one is now using the box uh, as a little house for her lanky box merch, isn't she? Yes, she is. So yeah, the box is going to good use. I'm just going to reach over and grab the first item Justin sent us, which is a happy haunt little pumpkin. Very Oz. We've covered this house in pumpkins, haven't mm -hmm. we? Another one. That's awesome. You know, I only found out that they did pumpkins in different colours relatively recently. I've never come across the white pumpkins or the green oh, pumpkins. Actual, or... Yeah, that you could actually buy them really to eat in different colours. No, I always assumed it was orange and then all of a sudden there was white ones around and it was like... What are these alien pumpkins? I'd seen like an ornament of one like this, but not actually... Um, First time I came across yeah. one was on that pumpkin carving TV show. And it was a big orange pumpkin oh, right. eating a little white one. <laughs> I've just noticed, didn't actually, there is something else in the in the items from Journey that I didn't actually show there. I thought you showed No, I didn't. And it's... That's a bandana. A death's head moth bandana. That is awesome. And I love the turquoise on that as well. So that's really, really cool. Sorry, guys, getting overwhelmed with stuff, aren't we, on the bed? We're so, so grateful. And I've got something. Now, I already know what's in here because there was a tag on it, but the, the, li it. Yeah, the little one spotted that there was something from her kind kindly sent from Justin, and she was on it. She was on it. I had to go and <laughs> retrieve this after she went to sleep. And it's a little... Minion pencil topper. She absolutely loves minions. We've had a few bits on the channel from minions when we were getting HMV mystery boxes, and she was loving that. She went to see the rise of Grew on the cinema, didn't she? And she mm -hmm. loved that. So she was absolutely chuffed to bits to get this little guy. Thanks again, Justin. She was thrilled. I'm still trying to figure out what these are. And then we've got. A go a, a Halloween little baggie with little skulls on, mm -hmm. full of sweets, full of Haribos, all different ones in there. Sour vampire bat. So I think there's some uh, Halloweeny ones in here, and we've got another. Best is having a root. We've got another bag of sweeties. This bag is so cute. He's a very, very friendly looking skeleton. And this is full of sweeties as well. And there's some here, guys, which. Ooh, things that we don't have in this country, like Tootsie Roll, 
we have never tried those, have we? Nope. We've tried very little American candy, so that'll be nice to try something different. I'm sure the little one will be thrilled there. She's never tried those either. We've got some Tootsie Dots, assorted fruit flavor gumdrops. Ooh, never tried those. Six Lets. Wow, never tried those either. We're sheltered, aren't we? <laughs> and we've got some other candies and some lollipops. And then all the Haribos. Little one is sorted for sweets. Oh, there we go. Ghostly gummies. Little ghost faces on them. And gold bears. I thought they were pog slammers. I don't think they are. I'm going to have to scan the QR codes on the backs to find out what they are. They're, they're something. They're cool. I don't know what they are. But, <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I thought they were pop slammers. Are you not? Do you not think they are? You're not no, sure. No, too white. Ah, right. We'll we'll figure that one out. There's biscuits. Oh, spot the biscuits. Biscuits. Justin sent us these now. These look so good. They've got like, mmm, milk chocolate stars on top. Can't really be eating these at the minute, but I've just accidentally opened it. Just accidentally opened it. That's okay. Fester and the little one can enjoy these. Maybe save me one or two for after my all. We'll see. But I'm on the liver reduction diet at the minute, but they look yummy. And then we've also got. A can cooler, which I think can also be used the opposite way around as like, um, remember when I was in hospital and I was saying, do you have a cup cozy? And you looked at me and went, what is a cup cozy? He just, he didn't understand. And I was like, my hand's burning with this cost of coffee. And he was like, I don't understand. That doesn't burn me at all. But I, I think that might actually be handy to go in my hospital bag. Yeah. Oh gosh, I'm getting nervous guys. And then, yeah, if I get a Costa while I'm there, I can pop this on the outside because, honestly, those cups are too hot. They are too hot. So, thanks again, Justin. Oh, we've got some wax melts. <gasps> Twisted peppermint, uh, peppermint and holly jolly berry. We love a wax melt absolutely love it love it i've recently been using some from hazy days which i've enjoyed and i also also love enchanting soap these are these look really nice thanks again justin really really appreciate it as i say i'll link justin's channel down below if you love geeky stuff we're both massive fans of sonic justin we've been playing so much sonic me and, me and fester are fiercely competitive on sonic <laughs> We play it almost every day now, don't we? Uh -huh. So yeah, we've become big kids again with Sonic. Um, so if you, if you love gaming, if you love geeky stuff, go give them a subscribe. They look really nice, so yeah. And this is helping me out again because I'm on my beauty low buy, which does include home fragrance and wax melts. So yeah, they're awesome. Actually spoiled for pop sockets is more socket rings but... no way we've got some more yeah all of a sudden we're sorted because we didn't have any did we we did break our old one and then we've got glow in the dark some little glow in the dark bats we absolutely love bats anything with bats on the little little one was trying to take these in her room and i said just leave just leave yeah she wants them i said just leave them for tonight and you can have them tomorrow so yeah, yeah. she she can have these tomorrow but she did say thank you, but yeah, she's asleep now. And then we've got a little DIY craft kit for the little one, which makes a little, a great family project. Oh, oh yeah, it's like, oh, she'll have fun with this tomorrow. We can check, we can definitely make this tomorrow. Making a little 3D spooky car design. Oh, I shall love that. So, thanks again, Justin. And we've got, finally, 
some a oh, couple of things left we've got one of these little sanitizer spray we were using one of these weren't we from um, another company last year I'll take your word we it. were and i was spraying it on the little one so yeah that'll be Sanitar. useful <laughs> sanitize kids get kids kids get, little get kids get yucky yeah get everything everywhere <laughs> spray it and then he sent us some Original really cute justin artwork. justin artwork we've got a bat and i think that bat is eating a cherry which makes me think of i am bat which i may have mentioned here on the channel that the book i am bat and the little one was obsessed with iron bat wasn't she for some time mm -hmm. we used to read it every night and it was about a bat who did not want his cherries being taken from him so that's really really thoughtful there we've got a little skull that's cool with red eyes and a ghost face something that we do love to feature here on the channel actually got a new ghost face necklace as well guys i'll have to share that with you at some point too so that is cool we're going to pop these up on the wall of weird because we do have a number of pictures from friends up on the wall so we're going to add those to the collection and then we've got a couple of face masks as well so if we should need those good to have some because i think our old ones have totally disintegrated haven't they so yeah <laughs> we try yeah hopefully we won't have to wear these but if we do handy to have some all right guys so that's everything thank you so much journey thank you so much justin it means the world that you thought thought of us and we're going to really appreciate and enjoy all these goodies don't forget to go and follow both my lovely friends give them both a subscribe all right, guys, and if you're not subscribed to us, what are you doing? Give us a like, give us a subscribe. We're trying to get to 250 subscribers at the moment. And, yeah, um, my giveaway will be drawn when we hit that goal. I'll link that down below as well if you'd like to go check it out. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Cheers, folks. Safe travels. Till the next one.